Yes, my name is Mark and today I will show you the first hardware sound wall hack on the market. Let's go. So you ask yourself, well, what we are talking about again? I'm just, we'll talk today about the new Creative X4 Sound Blaster external USB sound card. So, um, it's a pretty new product by Creative. Um, I bought it myself, by the way, and I uh, play it every day. And I just thought about um, showing you guys how a very good external sound card with a pair of um, good headphones can enable you to just have wall hack sound on Apex Legends. Basically, most of you guys know I play Apex Legends a lot. I have a lot of play hours and um, still um, play every day on stream and some of you guys were with me already in stream and you see I'm an enthusiast gamer. I love to game and I um, basically uh, like to um, try out myself to get better in the game all the time. And um, I was playing um, this um, Creative G6 Sunblaster X a lot, like I think nearly one and a half, maybe two years already. So basically since the start when I built this PC. I bought a um, Creative uh, 9AE, it's called, I think, an ex internal PCE sound card, which was one of the worst buys I've ever made. It's super expensive and it's super trash for headphones. Um, so I just disabled it, it's still in my PC, and I used my um, G6 again. And some days ago, like in uh, the end of Jewel this year, Creative released the um, Processor of the X3, the X4. Basically, it's an external USB sound card for both PC, Mac, and consoles. It's working on the PS4, the PS5, the Nintendo Switch, a PC, and the Mac. Wow, okay, why is it working there? Because you can connect it over USB C, you can run it over USB C. and you can, when you have it not switched on on a Mac or PC, you can Control it by a Bluetooth app on your handy or on your iPhone. That's pretty cool. But one thing what it not, which is not pretty cool, is that at first you have to connect the sound card external to your um, PC and update everything, firmware and software. And then you realize that most of the apps for Android are still don't have the X4. They only have the X3, so you can't run the software for your. Um, X4 to um, make the settings for your console. And another thing is if you want to play this one, which says X4 and says 7.1 virtual surround, it won't work on your console, guys. It will not work on the PlayStation or on a Switch. There's no 7.1 virtualization for you guys. I'm sorry for this. But if you have a Mac or a PC, basically for most of your PC gamers, this sound card is the best choice, the best pick for 149 euro in Europe to have the best accessibilities to customize your sound on your PC. Now you ask me, why, why, why should I do this? I play stereo with my in-ears. First thing is, you still play stereo because you have in-ears. I know you tried virtualization for 5.1 or 7.1 on your in-ears already and you realize uh, it's not better. In-ears are not, uh, I don't hear that much I would hear on a real 7.1 system. Yeah, true. The problem is your in-ears, my friends. You can't use in-ears for virtual Derby Surround. Why? Because the small membrane, which is in your ear, will not enable the sound card to let you scout or spot by the virtualization where the enemies are. Why? If you have a big over-ear um, headphone, like I have here, the Open HD 660S I play since the beginning. Before I had the Kraken headset, it was the first headset I've ever had, but since I have this one with a good sound card, my ability to spot enemies by a virtual um, 7.1 is very good. Some months ago, I think two months ago or three months ago, I tried in-ears, um, 150 euro in-ears, and I realized 7.1 virtualization on in-ears 
it's just not meant to work because of the size of the membrane and because you can't you don't have it in front or over your ear and there is no like virtualization ability for the membrane for the the where it is is it behind you is it in front of you you know there's no way this very very small membrane inside your ear can let you hear everything which a very good big over ear headphone will show you so that's the first point for all your stereo players out there most of you might already switched off because you think stereo is still top notch have fun guys let's now talk about this insane 7.1 sound card at first it comes in this box everything in here warranty mini toss link usb-c connector um, small description um, here yeah, basically everything you need. Then we have like, we just can watch here, it says Hi-Res 7.1 external USB-C DAC with sound card with Super X5. That's the first point I want to talk about, Super X5. What is Super X5 doing? If you have um, a Windows where you have an App Store installed, I don't have this, you can download Super X5. It's basically for the virtualization of the surround as set it or optimized to the different headphones you're using. But one thing it also made is like it let the, um, it virtualize the room around you. So you also have the feeling like you sit in this large room or in the, in the, the bigger room and these virtualized, um, um, how can I say it, the, yeah, the, the seven spots around you are at the end of the room and that feels very holy, it feels like you're sitting on a big toilet or something like that. I think, or for me, it feels awful because it doesn't um, sound direct. So at the end, you just don't need Super X5. When we compare it to the old G6, like the G6 has like, um, what it is, um, 369,000 Hertz and I don't know, 94 bit or something. So the G6 had just by the numbers, the better duck inside. But to be honest, when I compared those two, the um, the lower resolution um, of the of the duck of the digital audio converter inside this X4 gives me a way more clear virtual 7.1 surround feeling. Cause some of the um, very very small detailed things like someone is dropping a syringe um, in the house next to you or two houses far away. You can exactly hear, you know what happens there, what is dropped or what people take off and uh, who is moving. You can identify by the, step, by the steps in Apex Legends which champion or legend is moving there. Um, you can identify just by how detailed the sound is, what is happening. And you can read it and you can spot it. Because the 7.1 compared from this to this is here, it sometimes feels like um, the like you want to spot something and in a visual way, it's more broad. It's it's like it's it's a little bit broad on the on the side or on the on the spotting. You can roughly say it's over there left or it's behind me left somewhere. With this one, you can more precise or yeah, yeah the, 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 the feeling of the spotability of the sound where the sound happens is more precise. That's pretty good and I really like this and also the sound card is like capable of doing real Dolby not only over optical also over like a real line out with front side rear and subwoofer line outs so you can just connect a real set of, of uh, surround speakers with a subwoofer on it. That's pretty cool. And I think that's also a reason um, why it is so good with these um, just simulated the virtual Derby surround. I think the, um, the duck inside is very well chosen and it's a very good one. Maybe the numbers don't look that good. It's not in super high hertz or super uh, deep or super high bit rate duck, but it's clearly one of the most detailed virtuous um, 7.1 surround I've ever heard. 
It's no cap, guys. It's really insane. The first time I was, I put it in, um, I jumped down on Apex and I just, just um, I had the crypto in my duo team and um, we were on, um, I don't know, we were on a map and he was one or two houses away and he just dropped a syringe. And I were able to hear that he only dropped this one syringe on the floor. And I was, I went there and was watching if, if I was right and I was like, wow, he dropped a syringe here. And I, w I were exactly able to um, hear where it is, what he was dropping and wow man, it's not, not gonna lie, it's the best sound experience I've ever had. So. This one is the base for this virtual 7.1 surround which gives you wall hack feelings but then you also need a pair of headphones guys. And now people say yeah but wait I have this headset, I have this, I have this, I have this, I have this. It's okay guys, just try it, compare it and maybe try another headphone and, and try it. Um, with some other speakers, just check what gives you the best feeling. I will now show you a 150 euro headphone, which I think is a very good fit to this 150 euro sound card, guys. So basically, guys, these are the updated, refreshed Sennheiser HD 560S. In the Sennheiser store, it's 199, but on the internet, you can get them for 149. Also on Amazon for 149, so 150 euro for a very good high quality pair of headphones with a new membrane with a very very good acoustical feeling with the ability to really hear differences in those little things in the details in the 7.1 and I think for 150 euro that's one of the best pair or set of headphones you can choose. Um, I have HD 660s, these ones here, um, they way more expensive, they are like 500 on the store. I'm super excited, they're super nice, but the, fifth, the 560s here are a very, very good entry level headphone for very detailed, enjoyable 7.1 virtual surround. So that's what I think could be a very good choice for you if you don't have one already. So let's continue, as we said already, the hardware in general is very good, the knob is good, the buttons are good, you can do basically everything, um, you can adjust everything, it has its own software, USB-C cable is, is um, with you, you can just put it in and then um, it takes some time, then you see it's working, here you have the sound knob, it's, it has a very good feeling, um, feels not too cheap, it's pushable, so it's very good, it's very enjoyable to be honest. I like it a lot and one thing is I had here on my G6, when you move it a lot or when you accidentally choke it or something when it's on this, sometimes you lost the USB connection and then you had like an interrupt or Windows lost the uh, sound connection general and sometimes I lost the sound in Apex and had to restart Apex completely. This one you can move, there is no way the sound or the, the engine or the cable gets an interrupt so that's pretty nice. Um, I tried it out already, <laughs> um, so that's pretty decent. I think we are ready with all the facts about the, the, the external sound card. I will now show you the software here. Basically, here one thing is you can switch uh, beside the line out and the normal headphones line out. That's one thing. It's, you can separate the signals here also and you can have separate settings, to be honest. And um, the other thing is like, this is the main menu. But first we go to the, um, to the menu where you can set your headphones, the um, impedance of your headphones and some other stuff. So let's start here. This is the configuration for your line out of the speakers. This is the headphone configuration. You go to the, you do this, you activate the headphone configuration, you go over, you choose virtual 7.1, you can also choose stereo 2.1, 5.1, whatever. You choose virtual 7.1 and then you just also choose the impedance of your headphones. The one I showed you right before was 150 ohm, so you can easily choose 150 ohm. That's just how you set the amp. One, one setting of the amp is for those low impedance 
headphones from 32 to 149 ohms and the other one is for the high high ohm um, headphones so you just I just need to choose this one crossover frequency I will explain in a bit but basically we just do the check mark so he uh, saves the um, level of the amplification so that's it here on the top where it says audio, qual audio quality for the speakers you just set the highest one 24 bit 96,000 Hertz and you do this as standard for communication and as standard as as um, for the PC in general so you have both here the check mark and the phone that's for the communication then you have this here that's for the recording I don't use any of this because I'm not using the different line in mic in or whatever I don't use it and so that's also not my standards Basically here, and that's in German, I'm sorry for this guys, it only shows you the settings. Here you can set that uh, you get the USB optimization for PC and Mac use, which basically is cause of the um, USB power settings and all the stuff. But if you use it on the um, PS4 and Nintendo, you can choose the first one. Here you can update firmware and the software, and here you can set back your sound blaster to the... Um, to the um, yeah, to the factory set where you got it out of the box. Sometimes that's really good. Sometimes it feels like you just want, um, you, you made some settings and you realize I've really fucked up now with my settings and I don't know how the base was. So you just set it back. The whole um, sound blaster, the, the whole system resets back. It takes some time, it sometimes it takes three minutes, but then you just like have a fresh out of the box um, USB sound card and then you can start modifying again. Sometimes it's really good if you play around a lot with your certs and settings and saves and whatever. So that's pretty pretty cool. And here is just for the um, software in general. You can just check it um, if there is a new one. That's the newest one for now. Um, yeah. Then here, the, the main, that's the main acting window you mostly will use. As you see, the most stuff is off here for me. And this one, for example, is only if you use the um, the diff out encoding on the um, optical line out. Here is the Super X file. I don't have the software because I also want to use it and I don't have Windows apps installed on my low latency windows. This is the equalizer. The equalizer will enable you to do different um, equalization modes. Um, it just shows you how it goes and in reality it's like how can I explain you the, the equalizer really good um, it's more like a feature I don't often use because um, equalization for me is like you can choose for example um, acoustic gaming um, uh, step enhancement or you just can choose um, Call of Duty Counter-Strike Cyberpunk Dota whatever you can also choose Apex Legends and it will give you a um, an special, uh, really unique curve of the of the different frequencies. You see here in the in the um, 62 hertz, which is very low, it raises a lot, so the the, the deep basses are getting louder or they're getting more hearable because they raise it a lot. Some I think it's like plus three plus uh, it's like plus three decibel. They raise it uh, and then they're going down with the with the broader um, more existing um, low tones that's like here and then they go back up like I think that's here this two are just for the steps to hear the steps better better but in general they raised the base and the heights a little bit I just think they want to make um, the the two main marks or the two main things um, you mostly lose when you have bad headphones that you hear the heights and the, 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 deep, the deep bass in the background when something gets dropped or something falls or to spot shoots far away that you hear the, the, hear the bass in the background better. But I won't use it anyway. So we switch it off. Keep in mind, everything here just switched off. Equalizer off, scalp mode off, direct mode off. Just use everything off. We go to Acoustic Engine and I now show you my settings for, in my opinion, the best Apex Legends sound for the best spotability with Virtual 7.1 with this sound card. We start here. 
That's the acoustic engine. Normally, when you when you just use it the first time, it's 50, 50, 50, everything is basically 50. You just make everything on. You turn everything, bass, smart volume, and dialogue to zero. Then you make it off. Then you go to bass. Here's one thing, which we'll explain in a bit. You just do bass to zero and activate or deactivate, as you wish right now. But the most important is this one. Surround, activated, but set to zero, and crystallizer activated, set to 100. If you deactivate surround, crystallizer is not working. Yes, it's on, but without surround, crystallizer is not working. You can try, but I can tell you, there's no way it will work good. Surround is just like enabling you the surround feeling like the virtualization gets better. So you have just surround on, set it to zero, because the higher it is, the more virtual speakers are getting into the uh, 7.1 virtualization. And at one point, it uh, becomes unclear where something is or where the sound happens, because it's too many virtual speakers and the detail, uh, it's not that detailed that you can spot it anymore. So just set it to zero. And this crystallizer is very important, guys. That's one of the most important features here. This crystallizer is separating the different tones from each other. The, the less tones or audios are in the region, not I don't mean the ambient sound, I mean in general what happens, the more clear and the more detailed you can hear something. For example, if someone is ratting or hiding, and he makes a little, little move, but there's no one else in the region. No shoots, nothing. Only you, your teammate, and there's red somewhere. You will hear him. You will hear, even as he's crouching and only moving one step very short, you will hear the step. And you will exactly be able to spot where this guy is. I will give you also the auto exit command for this to have a better in-game Apex sound. But that's the reason why you will hear very detailed sounds you never heard before. So basically that's everything in the acoustic engine. Then we go here back again and we make, we make sure that we have the 7.1 settings and when bass is enabled we can set this crossfader which means crossover frequency. Basically, I can sh I show you now, if we do bass off, we can't do this, we can't set the crossfader frequency. But if we enable the bass, we are able to set it. What's the benefit of doing this? The benefit of doing this is, um, depending on which type of headphones you have, you can set the hertz where the bass will get sent to your speaker, to your headphone, or where it gets separated and gets sent to the non-existing subwoofer. So as lower you will set this, the more if you send it to 10 Hz, everything over 10 Hz will directly go to your virtual surround speakers. So all the bass is going to the speakers. Is it good? No. Why it is it good? I now explain to you that the more sounds, the more bass in the background and the more bass existing in general in the whole audio scene where you are right now or where you are on the map or whatever the more sounds are there in general that's why you want like to set the filter to 200 or 300 hertz why now you say ah but then i don't hear like steps or something or whatever the thing is you will hear the steps my friends normally a normal setting for a real dolby system would be with normal speakers would be 80 hertz to 100 hertz something between 80 and 100 hertz that's how normal 7 point, real 7.1 systems with an external subwoofer are working. You set it between 80 and 70. So if you set it to, uh, to 80, there is like a little bit more bass on all the surround speakers. And if you set it to 100, everything below 100 hertz uh, sent only to the subwoofer. So that's basically the same thing you, thing you do here. You just filter the bass out of your headphone signal. That's one thing you can work it, you can try and you can make some experiments. What is your favor, what, what, where you think the sound favors the most out. That's 
that's the pure basic settings, guys, in this program. That's all you need to know here, and that's the base settings. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. If you use your Windows, you see that's the speaker is sound blaster. You can go to configuration, 7.1 surround. You see there are all the satellites and the subwoofer. You can make subwoofer on and off also here if you want, but if you do subwoofer off, base is switched to the satellites. Then you can choose, in German it means Vollspektrum Lautsprecher, means the, the, that the all of the satellites are, as you can see on the graphic, are speakers who are able to do the whole frequency range from very low to very high. But basically, to be honest, if you do this, there's like more side sounds and way more noise on all the virtualized speakers in your headphone that it sometimes comes to like uh, overcutting or like a mix um, of the sounds on different um, virtualized speakers. So you can try it if you want with a different setup in the background on the app. But for me, I would like, I would um, say you just use the normal one because I felt like it's way more spotable or the, the, the pointing of the sound the, of the virtualization is way better than using these full spectrum um, satellites. So that said, that's all for the window settings and for the settings of the creative app. Now I give you a short view on my auto exec, which is um, the part of the sound, which is this one here, guys. Basically, I just give you a short explanation the server sound per frame, which is here and here, needs to be set to your FPS cap in-game. So make it equal to your FPS cap in-game. That's what I would tell you to do. Then there is Miles Occlusion, Miles Occlusion Force and Partial. If you set those to zero, not to one, it basically means that the, um, the, the sound is going through the walls without getting um, lowered by the system. So the sound from like two spots away is as loud as it can be without getting um, lowered in the noise or in the in the um, volume by just buildings or something which would Apex would do if you would have this to one. So this will enable you to hear more far on the map but it also will make it harder for you to spot enemies um, or to understand how close or how far away enemies are. I think if you get used to it after some days, you can easily play with it. But if you don't can play, or if you are not able to play with this, just set this to one again, guys. But that's basically the wall hack enable in Apex, cause you just hear through the walls, very detailed with the sound card, cause the sound goes through the walls, cause you set this to zero, okay? That's one thing. Here, surround speakers 2 and headphone pen exponent on 2. But, mites channels on A. Now you will ask if you are familiar or you know what these three comments mean. You will ask me why I set mites channels to 8, which is enabling 7.1 surround, and um, why I use surround speakers and pan exponent 2. You use it because the duck here inside is doing a virtual surround out of a stereo signal. This forces you, or this forces Apex, to send out a stereo signal, these two things, but the software from Apex, so from the game, and which is using in Windows, which you see when you go on settings, scroll down and it says 7.1 surround in the sound settings on the lowest thing, it's a Windows thing, so it says Windows 7.8, that's why this card is working. And you say to the game, but only do stereo signal. So the sound card will encode 7.1 for you out of the stereo signal. That's why it's get better and it's get very detailed by this. If you would change it to 8, you can try it guys with these settings. It's awful for spotting. It's very bad. Also then distancing and whatever. 
Apex do a lot of weird stuff then with the sound. I don't uh, like it. And um, if you set my channel, for example, for two, even if you have 7.1 enabled, it's only stereo then. So that's basically the settings. Um, it also makes, by the way, the sets the distance for how far you hear uh, footsteps in the max distance and how far you um, hear the usage of a rope in the max to like 4000, which is a lot, guys. And you can hear through the walls on the other end of um, fragment in the streamer building that they're using the rope. That's pretty good, but it's also pretty loud. So keep in mind, it's not really for knowing where the people are, just for hearing the sound and realizing that they are there. You need some time to get used to it. I will copy this one down in the description so you just can copy it out to, um, to use for your own auto exec. In general, there's nothing more to say from my side, um, besides I hope you enjoyed the review, I hope you enjoyed the new style of this content, that there is a product which is uh, beneficial for you in the game and I show you how you can get the most out of the product in this game. I try to do more often with other stuff, I think you can get, um, get benefits out of it and um, the sound blaster was so good when I used it that I really wanted to do this video. Um, I think you enjoyed the video. I hope you try it out and you enjoy it also. Maybe you can try with your own 7.1 sound card the settings I, I showed you and you get a better understanding on maybe how your sound card or your sound engine is working. So if there are any questions guys, put it down in the comments below and um, thanks for watching. See you on the next review. Bye bye.